Hey folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to the Guild of Dungeoneering. When we last left off, we sadly were defeated by Embro himself out in the uh, Fire Lord adventure here. And I think for this episode, we're going to actually do something different. And I've decided, actually, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the... Uh, Mime and the Bruiser, just to give them a chance to uh, get on camera a little bit, I guess. And you know, they're they're interesting classes. We're gonna, it'll be a while before we get the shapeshifter either way, um, which is sort of what I'm going for. So we'll we'll grab these these guys. That's fine. I'm gonna grab the uh, the Bruiser actually for this episode, and we'll see what we can do with him. Put him uh, maybe right there. Not a gentle kind of dungeoneer, nor a poet, or a muser, but one that fills the heart with fear. I give to you the Bruiser. All right, Sally the Bruiser it is. Let's see, what do we want to go and check out? I'm thinking, actually, we've got this one. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, none shall pass. Let's give this adventure a try. All right, defeat one skeleton. Aha! Let's see what you can do. All right, man, you asked for it. So one skeleton, that's not really that tall of an ask, except this particular skeleton is surrounded by bullshit. We can either get a Fountain of Decay, or we can get a Fountain of Blindness. How about... Um... No. What is this, uh, what's this fountain gonna be? Fountain of Clairvoyance. Alright, we can, we can roll with that. Go ahead and, uh... Put a Goblin here, get some levels, see how we do. Yeah, the Bruiser's got a little bit of a mouth on him, it's, uh, slightly amusing. Uh, also, interesting thing about the Bruiser is their trait, Spiky. When you fully block an attack, you deal one damage back to the enemy, which is also an un untyped, unblockable uh, bit of damage. Very nice. I shall demonstrate. Will you try in something? There you go. As you can see, we uh, when we uh, when we blocked all the damage, we did an extra damage back. Bruiser's really, really, really strong because of that. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to use him a whole lot, probably. I don't think we'll, we'll need to. I think the while he's extremely strong, um, the other classes are a little bit more interesting, I guess, if that makes sense. I guess it doesn't really matter what we do here. He's going to destroy himself for us. That's nice. What do we got? Paper crown, wooden board, and a Koopa. Uh, I'm going to grab the board. It's a... Uh, strong for obvious reasons on the Bruiser, but it's also just a good item. The Skeleton's got a lot of physical attacks. Although it does have some magical attacks um, as well, I believe. Uh, if we're actually lucky, we might just get a Skeleton in our hand if we just keep going this way. Uh, so let's drop a couple rooms down and we'll fight a nasty rat. Now we have that fountain, I think it's going to make this guy predictable, so we get to see his card well before he plays, yeah, well before he does anything. I'm just going to block that bite, or sorry, that neurotoxin, because uh, it's pretty nasty. As uh, is fitting of, of the name Nasty Rat, I suppose. Claws, yeah, we can we can trade like this all day, this is fine. We're going to we're gonna win this, ex this exchange. It's got a lot of unblockables, actually. And another neurotoxin, but we can certainly block that. All right, excellent. If you're looking for something to block some magic damage, that'd be kind of nice. That holy seal was actually something that would fit the bill quite nicely. Alrighty, ooh, a mimic. Hmm. I kind of screwed myself as far as being able to go uh, certain directions here. I guess we'll, we'll put, um, put that there, and let's start heading back in the other direction, I guess. Oh, I guess we're, well, <laughs> okay. We'll put this imp here either way, I guess. He's going to do a lot of magic damage, but I think 
we've got the chops to uh, to take him out. We do have a one card that gives us magic defense in our deck, so it's it's something. It's gonna hit us with some flares. He's hitting with an oi. Like we'll win these exchanges. He's only got one card that does two damage, if I recall. So we don't need to worry about it too terribly much. I don't think he has any block cards. If I'm uh, remembering correctly here, yeah, there's that fiery fiery weapon. We'll block one of the damage, though. Which certainly keeps us in the lead here. And, oh shit, we have nothing but block cards. Awesome. Uh, well, block that and uh, nullify that damage. There we go, there's some damage. It's actually a little bit harder than I thought it would be. What are we thinking? Leather, leather bound tome. Uh, let's take a twig. It's not a very good weapon, but it's better than not having it, I suppose. Only just, but better. And I think we'll um, build some rooms off in this direction. Uh, just because we might get a skeleton and maybe we can divert ourselves over there or something. I, I don't know, it's not that big a deal. Headbutt, yeah. Bruiser's pretty good against these kinds of cards because he blocks it and then also does a bunch of damage back. And I'm not going to block that pain, actually, because he's got worse cards uh, to worry about. I'm not going to block that darkness, either. That's the one. Acrid Fog is pretty nasty. And a bite? We can't block that, so... I'm gonna have to just oi him here. And he will destroy himself. But we'll repel it just for good measure. Very nice. What do we got now? Mage Robes? Yeah, I think we'll take the Mage Robes. That stiletto's pretty good, too. But we'll take them. We'll definitely take the mage robes here. <clears throat> very nice. Not very bruiser uh, looking, but nice. There's our skeleton. Here we go. If we can defeat this guy, we win the adventure. No sweat. Alright, what are we thinking here? He's gonna headbutt us. Let's block some of the damage, I guess. Well, I guess we'll technically sort of block it all. Uh, anger, I'm just gonna let him hit me with that, and then I'm going to hit him so we... Oh, wait, no, that's right, he's brittle, not decay. My bad. But yeah, I didn't want to use you trying something on just one damage like that, so... Drain, ah. Should have saved that, uh, holy ceiling, I guess. That's fine, we'll still get a little bit of damage through here. Strike, we can definitely take care of a strike. This guy really should be no issue for us. And Spook! I'm sorry to say that you have been vanquished. Alright, very nice. Well, victory, it being such a fine fleeting thing, is often not to be found. Who knows what horrors the future may bring? So cherish it while it's around. Alright. We could consider unlocking some more items here. Um, do we want, really even want to get all these other items? I don't know. Hmm. Curio Shop items are kind of interesting. But I, I think I'm not going to buy them. At least not yet. It's interesting that these are not grayed out, but these ones are. I don't know if that's a UI bug or what's going on with that exactly. <clears throat> what is the requirement for this? Require 411 more gold and a talisman of the trickster purchase. I see. Ah. So we do have to actually buy these or else we won't be able to... Um, to get these later on, so I guess we might we might as well start buying buying these things. We don't really have a lot of choice here. What are we thinking? Uh, this one has definitely has the most interesting items, <laughs> so we'll, we'll build a curio shop, I guess. 
And let's build it off the graveyard. That seems appropriate. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Next time we will go exploring again. We uh, might continue with this adventure here. Give our, our bruisers a little bit more of a workout and see how that goes for us. But uh, until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching. <laughs>